Hey Sunflowers, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to tell you about my quants strategy. Since after watching my English strategy video, you all requested to make a video about quants too. So here it is. First of all, I want to clear one doubt that many of you must have heard about and it is that you don't need to focus on arithmetic since one can pass the prelims exams without attempting those 10 arithmetic questions that we see in our exams. Okay, so it is not true at all. Arithmetic is equally important as all other topics in quants and also the DI that we solve are normally based on arithmetic itself. So, it is really important to complete those topics of arithmetic that belongs to our banking syllabus. And in mains too, if I tell you last year when I appeared in SBI PO mains and IBPS PO mains exam, the section of quants was really hard and attempting 4 to 5 questions were not so easy for 90% of the students. And that's why the sectional cutoff of math uh, in IBPS PO mains was also quite low. So in that scenario, I attempted 7 questions in both IBPS PO mains as well as SBI PO mains. And that was just because of arithmetic because DI was really hard. So I guess I attempted 3 to 4 arithmetic questions and 2-3 uh, quadratic equations question in uh, one of those exams. And in other two, I attempted uh, arithmetic questions. So this is the importance of arithmetic that if you complete the topic in mains also, it is going to really help you. Now, even I first completed this and the teacher from whom I studied is Santosh sir. So all you have to do is take out the banking syllabus, search the topic like percentage and then complete that particular topic from basic to medium. Now why I am telling this? Let's divide each topic in three levels. Level 1, level 2 and level 3. Level 1 is basic and level 3 is advanced. What you will do is uh, when you reach level 2, you will move to next topic. And then every day when you are learning the new topic, you will solve 5 questions of level 3 of that previous topic. So by doing this, you won't forget what you studied earlier. And the second most important thing is that each topic contains type-wise questions. Like if you are studying percentage, you will find around 10 types of questions in that. So what you have to do is make a copy and write 5 questions of each type. So you will collect 50 questions of this topic percentage. And now after every 10 days, you have to solve those 50 questions. And once it becomes clear to you, revise it in a month or two. This is what I did at my time. And the teacher from whom I studied, that is Santosh sir, he teaches the SSC syllabus. Now why I did this? In SSC, they will teach you to solve the questions not with the help of basic methods, but some tricks. And it saves the time like crazy. And once you learn these tricks, you can solve the questions in just a few seconds. And hence I told you to revise the typewise questions because practice and revision, these two things are really important if you want to learn something new. I have the collection of those typewise questions that I practiced again and again. The only problem is that those questions are in Hindi. So I hope you will manage. I will upload all those questions on my telegram channel. The link is in description. Now this was about arithmetic. There are other topics too and for these topics I followed Sandhanu sir. You can study from the teacher of your choice, practice 20 simplification and approximation questions daily and another scoring topic is quadratic equation. Uh, mostly you will find 5 questions from this topic in your exams and these 5 questions are the easiest one to solve. So learn the trick to solve quadratic equation questions. Santanu sir has taught me. Now, missing number series is something that students usually skip. Don't be afraid of this. Once you practice a lot of questions, you build the intelligence to guess the number in lesser time. And for practicing these questions by the book of test book, that is 4000 questions practice set. You will get plenty amount of questions in this book and as I told you, complete level 1 and level 2 at a time 
then just five seven questions from level three every day uh, or every alternate day moreover learn the squares cubes the tables and percentage to fraction because in exams these learned things will save your time once you complete the topics shift to mains exam questions on affairs cloud uh, there are particular exam courses in all courses section nowadays uh, they have started charging for that but if you open the previous year path you can get the topic wise mains level questions from there for free so practice there you must have bought some mocks too so practice the mains sectional mocks and yeah that's it doing these things consistently will definitely improve your performance in quads as it did mine and if you want videos or help about something else you can comment here and don't forget to connect on telegram because i discuss everything uh, there with my sunflowers so yeah all the best and thank you